Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa, here in the city of Antarctica. And we have some big plans for today. Uh, I'm looking to try and hit the next milestone, uh, which is, let's just come out of this and double check. If we jump into here, Colossal City. So we're at 31,000. I want to get up to 38,000. And to enable us to do that, we are going to spread over here. Um, but before I do that, we're going to put in a few fixes that you lovely people have been commenting on. Uh, comment, commenting on. Commentating on. Commenting. No, I mean commenting. You left some comments. Um, so one of those is to do with our trash collection services. Yes, I saw the 42 million comments that you all left me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I made a simple mistake. Yes, I did. So we are now using... Uh, these ones here and the waste transfer facility has a capacity it doesn't process and i know that i know that's why i've got them spread all over the place got one here one here one over there one over here one over there so they can get access to the city and pick up the trash and then they take it over to the waste processing complex and that has a processing rate 192,000 a week and i think that is the only processing building that we've got so I think that's why I was getting a little bit confused. We've just got that one over here. But it says over here we've got landfill storage. Which must be including the snow dumps in that or something. Because we haven't. Uh, landfill capacity, garbage production and processing. 213,000. I think it's including the snow in that. Because we've only got one of these. And that is 192,000. And that's why it's not enough. So what I'm going to do is pop one of those. We've sort of been using this area, haven't we, for our different facilities and things. If I pop one uh, as close as I can get to the end of that road there, and then we'll just make sure that the power that's going over to our water thing isn't upset. And then if we go back over here, there we go. Got absolutely tons of processing. That's fine. What did I do to our budget? Yeah, we don't need that. We'll put that on 101. There we go. Yep, everybody is pleased and happy. So that was one little fix. Uh, the other little fix I've done off camera. I made some boo-boos with my Metro. Um, and if I just turn off all the buses and then we come over here to Metro. I had um, this line down here, this green one, which is now called Hickory Square. Uh, sorry, Hickory. Oh dear, I can't read that at all. Hillside Heights, clockwise. Um, and then the other one that was in here I thought was going counterclockwise or anti-clockwise and it wasn't and then i had a third one i'd accidentally put over the top of it it was a right mess so i've now got uh two in here one going clockwise one going counterclockwise they're both green so they come from my little hub and go around here i've then got hickory square which goes through our little hub and goes all the way up the top uh, to over here to our industry and back down again and then we've got sunset park which goes through our little transport hub and over here so i know that they overlap a little bit down this main road that may change because we are going to increase our tram network because if we just go back over here and put our buses on we've got two bus lines uh, we do it this way around we can see the hawky balky line which goes by hawky park and balky park and we've got the ice T line, which I can't remember where that was. Oh, that was over here in this area. And they are getting overrun. So the ice T line, I think, is actually not too bad. But if you look at the Hawky Balky line, look, we've got one spot. It's got 200 people on it. So if we jump over there and have a look at that. So instead of just adding more buses, uh, we are going to increase the transportation options here. So what I was thinking is we are going to expand out into this square and at the moment our tram line basically starts down here runs along goes through here up along there and then this is a tram road as well and that's it so i'm thinking of extending our tram road down this main line and down this main collector as well because it doesn't affect the traffic as much as you might think if it's spread out um also one more change i've had is we've got a little transportation a uh, little hub thing going on here i've upgraded excuse me i've upgraded this road down here to also be tram so the whole of this little wedge is now tram all the way around which means i've spread out where some of the stops are as you can see instead of them all coming in and out of here 
uh, some of them are along this section here and it just stops a backup of trams that we were getting up and down this road so yeah that's good yeah so let's extend our tram we're going to use this four lane road with tram tracks and we are just going to upgrade this all the way along down here to the end and then we're going to upgrade this carefully all the way along down here all the way up to the end but then what i'm also going to do which may actually preclude using some of this um i think i'm going to continue this up to here but then it might branch off into emerson square we'll see but i would like the metro at uh, the metro i would like the trams to come up through this section here and go around our shopping area and we've got a lot of high density people in here as well and that may help with our overloaded bus stop which was along here somewhere so i'm just looking at this we've got like a connection that isn't made here or here because we've sort of spread out our connections so i'm just wondering whether we could just take a one-way tram track in there turn that around the other way and have that go in there um yeah they would only go in there but then they would come out here it means just losing a couple of these businesses but yeah so this bit in the middle here i mean i'm going to keep it as tram we may end up having some go up the main road i think that'll be okay and then we'll keep the rest of this road as normal two-way road but we're going to go up like this and then along here and then down there and i think to be honest that is probably near enough for people to walk to even if they're a little bit further away they would walk and get onto the tram there so i think that'll be good now i'm considering moving one of my tram stops let's just turn the buses off again so we don't want that one on we don't want that one on so we've got hickory square and sunset park that both run up here i am wondering i mean that was basically to get people up to the industry could we run it this way instead come via there and then go up to the industry um so that continued up over the top what i don't want to do is bring a tram down this road because it's super busy i'm just wondering whether if we bought it in like through here round this area because this is our high density what was it leisure tourism i can never remember which one it was at uh, leisure bring it through here past the train station and then maybe make a connection over here somewhere yeah i'm actually going to change this a bit so instead of it going up there down there and out here i'm going to delete this here actually let me get rid of that tram line and put in oh we got yeah we didn't lose many offices uh, instead of this being a tram road down here um let's put that back to what road are we using there we're using very basic roads down here aren't we mm, at some point i'm going to come through here and upgrade and change all the roads so we get um nicer roads in this area i think this is going to continue up here so it's literally going to go past where that stop was here where those all those people were and then it's going to come down this road yeah in the wrong one there we go like this and then it could hook around here this would be fantastic so let's bring that up right to outside of our sporting venue and then that can go back down again yep there we go and then this road can also be upgraded and that then connects to the main road here and then we've got this road and this road could we come up here and get a tram over the top up this road is that going to be and then it could go round there and back again i'm just worried about overloading this sort of little junction here we could give it a try and see so if i hook that into here i mean this is really coming through the industrial area and then over here have this one i want it to sort of connect up to this oh this is a path isn't it rather than a road well that's going to get upgraded so if i delete that and we run just this one through here instead so if i go up to there i mean that is the other option we could literally have <laughs> a tunnel instead 
I'm just wondering whether that might work better. Oh, auto save. Quit sip of tea. Slope too steep. Cannot build on water. Darn it. Where's my mods when you need them? Mm, could I smooth this out a bit and get this to work? I bet we could. I bet we could. Oh, there we go. We can go as far as that. And that'll be underground. It sort of really dips it down. That is one step down. And it's like, it's like nuts. Okay, we're going to go there. And we're going to go there. That goes really low, doesn't it? Okay, well, we'll work with it. And then that is going to come up. So I'm going to delete that. And we're going to sort of try. And if we go up one. Yeah, there we go. That's okay. And then we don't have to sort of connect that right there, do we? That can come out to there. And then connect to there. That's okay. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. And then we can just sort of smooth this out a bit over here, can't we? Yeah, can't complain with that. Excellent. So that goes underground. There you go. For all the people that say I never use tunnels. <laughs> I just did. Yeah, I am worried, actually, because this is going to run exactly on the street. I forget, you see. I was thinking of, like, this four-lane one here. It runs down the middle, so it doesn't affect the cars. Um... Yeah, let's see how it goes. So then that can come up there, and then that can literally loop around that and come back, which means we won't need this connection over here. Well, we'll sort of sort that in a minute. So, yeah, let me then dive into here. So this is also going to give us a great amount of connection over here. Eventually, I see us, when we build this section in a moment, we're going to have our trams coming through here as well. And we may even have... Because, I mean, this is only... This little hub is super busy. It was only ever meant to be a small hub for a small amount of trams and buses. I mean, it's working well. It is really going well. But we do need a proper size hub. And I think this section over here, because we're going to end up... Where are we going to go? We're going to end up going around the mountain. And this is like a whole other section over here. Yeah, so if you look at all the people that are going to end up in here. I mean, already we're at 31,500. With only a little bit of high density. I'm seeing this being mostly high density, perhaps. Or maybe a bit of high density than like yeah, you know. So we're gonna need we're gonna need more more hubs. So I tell you what I'm gonna do. I am gonna delete. Uh, so let's go back in here. Buses are off. So it's the Hickory Square. We're gonna delete that. Yeah, we're just gonna delete that. That's gonna that's gonna go. And then I'm gonna run a new one. And it's going to come around this way. So I'm going to start up here. So I know where I am. So we're going to go that side. And then we're going to sort of do every other every other block. Sort of spread it out a bit. Uh, we'll go up the top. And then I'll do an one going the other direction as well. I don't think I'm going to stop on this road here. Because that is the bit I'm worried about. So these two stops here I think will be near enough. Excellent. Okay. Oh, hang on. We haven't connected this up here, have we? Darn it. Right click, right click. Delete all of those things. Let's get this last bit of road in. Down there. And that sets us up. Yep, nice. Okay, let me get this done. There we go. We've got our new Hickory Square line coming in. It takes in the Heather Square, Emerson Square, uh, leisure area with the football stadium. Comes around Hawkey Park and then goes back around Transporty Park and back again. And because of the way this works, it's actually going up and down both sides of the road for huge sections of it anyway so here all the way up here this bit it goes round once but then this is both sides this is both sides so i've just done one line and already it is humming with people so i've got 16 vehicles on it um but this stop over here which i think is going to be where oh right here by the football stadium okay is there another one? This is 158. So this is down here. There's a lot of people. 254 over here, which is near to where that stop was. Wow, there is a lot of people that want to use this. So I don't even think 16 is going to be enough. Wow. That is just nuts. People just really... I'm going to put 25 and just see how it goes. I'll keep my eye on that as time goes by and we'll see what happens so yeah i know i've got this connection up here we might deal with that later right okay so now i want to build into this area over here and if we just take a look at our traffic and our roads 89 percent we've probably got a lot of trams blocking things up. Do you know i might end up actually it's not the trams that are causing the problem is it it's just people 
driving like boneheads. Nothing much I can do about that. Uh, that's got a stop sign. Well, that's probably not going to help, is it? Let's just check what everyone else is set up as. Uh, I'm going to stop the trams coming out, shall I, or not? No, we'll leave that. So anyway, yeah, 89%. Um, it sort of flows. I've seen it up to sort of 92. But it's just because things are so busy with so many trams. There's lots of little red spots, but they're not... It's not traffic, so... I don't mind. And the trams will start spreading out anyway. But yeah, this section over here we've built. We've got this big collector that comes down from this roundabout. Goes through here. It splits off. And we've got this sort of section in the middle, Hawky Borky Park, Manor Gardens. So over here, I would like a similar sort of setup. So if we just take this section on its own, uh, we've got one connection to the highway up here. We've got one down here. We've got this little one that sort of connects. Basically, this is connecting from one side to the other uh, rather than a highway connection. So we'll hook into that. Um, but I feel like we need another highway connection along here. I mean, this little section here would be perfect. And then it can also be a connection for people to get to the other side. So what could we put in here? Okay, so I'm just trying to plan out uh, what to do here. And looking at the way this uh, highway comes through here, I think a trumpet interchange into one of these sort of collectors that we've got so it's got a similar setup as this with collectors around the outside. A lot of stuff going on in the middle. And just looking at this road. Let's grab this here just to help us out. There's a nice sort of straight section here that we could maybe plan our build to. Uh, let's just pause the game there. I want that to connect. All right, we'll do it this way then. Um, let's go out the full 10. I'm just going to use this to sort of mark some stuff out. So that would be where our collector comes in. And then I was sort of thinking, <sighs> because I don't necessarily want a collector to join up to here. I was thinking maybe this one to come out. But looking at the traffic, I mean, there's hardly anybody using this road. And normally I would say, because this junction here is so close to this roundabout, I wouldn't want this to be a big junction. But look what happens here. If I just continue that straight down, <laughs> it actually almost perfect. Well, <laughs> Unless my, mouse, unless my mouse slips, it almost perfectly goes into there. So it just sort of seems a bit silly not to have that um, coming into there. Is that not going to let me join up there now? Oh, that's annoying. Um, but that just seems to me where this is going to have to go. So even though that's quite close to this, I think we can make it work if I could get these roads to line up. Am I going to have to take that one out? Have this one. Yeah, see, it bends over ever so slightly. I think it's not going to like it. Okay, I'm going to get this to work. I am going to get this to work. I'm probably not. <laughs> because it's not going to like it. Darn it. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do then. Oh, if, I have, if I have this going in straight, it's got to be the tram one, isn't it? Here we go. Biffa plays with mods again. Nothing seems to work. If I come out at that angle, so that's the angle there, I think, that I want. Oh, it's done it. But did it come from the other direction? Oh, it's so close as to be almost perfect. I think we could just live with that. Cool. Okay, that's good. Um, so I'm keeping the game paused at the minute because I know my highway's, highway is messed up. So I'm going to do that for now, and we'll keep that going. Um like that oh no i've unpaused and then here this is going to be where we have our trumpet so how am i going to do this i think we're going to just take that back a bit so what i've done is i've had a quick look uh on uh, youtube and i found a video by imperator i'm going to put a link to that in the description below and he builds the perfect trumpet interchange that's what the video is called but i'm not going to copy it because what he's got is a completely straight segment along here so i'm not going to copy it exactly i'm just going to sort of take the outline of what he's got and see if i can do my own thing so we're going to need some of these um highway ramps or yeah, let's use... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to mark it out with this instead. So we do need four little roads coming up here. This is going to be the fun bit. Because then two of them are going to spread off 
you know, that one's going to come in, that one's going to go out, and then two are going to go straight on. So I'm just wondering what the best way is to get these, because I want them to connect well. So if I... I need to get a road grid here, don't I? So if I just go out a little bit like that and go this way and this way, that gives us a road grid to work to. I can delete that. Um, I'm going to use these roads and we're going to try and get one. I want one here. So I'm going to set that to the lowest, turn off road guidelines, and we're going to go up. Then we're going to go up. Then we're going to go up. And then that will go over the top. Excellent. And then we can get one right next to it here. And we're going to go up. Uh, I think it was there. No, that's not right at all. Let's try that again. There we go. Put road guidelines on there. Will show me where the... Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So up there. And then up there. And that will go over the top. So that will be almost correct. <laughs> I don't think I've done that right. Uh, let's see if we can get that exactly the same. Yay! There we go. Excellent. So those two are going to go up on either direction. And then we can have here um, our other two. So I'm going to go up to there with that one. So these will be the ones that go in and out on this side. And they're the ones that go in and out on that side. So now I'm trying to make a curve that comes out here. Um, and I'm just trying to match up with what space we've got. So if I come out 350 there, I can just about get up to 350 there without any problems. And then if we use that curve one here, put our road guidelines back on. So that gives us a perfect curve there. Um, but then that's got to line in over here. So eventually that's going to sort of go and maybe go in here somewhere. If we put it back on straight and do it like this. Can we get that? No. Okay. I might just need to rebuild this bit. Oh, that's going to end up all the way down there. Oh, darn it. Because of the curve of the road. Um, Actually, if I turn off all of my snap twos, I could do something like that. And then that would come off and come down there. Excellent. Then we can do the same over here as well. That needs to change because it was a bit too short. So I'm going to go up to there and then it's 350. I'm hoping I can fit a 350 in here. Yes, I can. Excellent. Then we'll go up. Nope, let's do that again. Up to this one. It's not showing, but that's the one. There we go. And then we'll put that back on straight. Turn off all of our snap twos. And get that. I mean, it's not going to be as even as this one. But I'm going to try and make it look like it's right. Which wasn't that one. I mean, that's as close as it will get. And it's getting a bit winky wonky. And if I go out too far, it's not going to work. So I think we might just need... Yikes. I mean, what we could do, actually, if I delete that, is if we could come out a little bit like this. And then bring it in. And you know what? That looks much better, doesn't it? Yeah, excellent. Okay, so like I said, not going to be even because of the way the road goes. But yeah, I'm happy with that. So then let's change these two highway ramps. Uh, there we go. So that's going to go up and over the top. I've got that one as well. This one we know is going that way. And this one we know is coming that way. Let's turn that around. Excellent. Um, I'm not quite sure which way around these two are going. Hang on one second. So that one will be going up. So this one will be coming this way into there. And I'm hoping then these will meet in here. Oh, man. This is going to be the thing. I mean, that... Yeah, I think what I'm going to have to do is do a bit of... I mean, if this meets here, I'm going to be a blooming monkey's uncle. That is never going to get in there, is it? Right, so what I'm going to do here, because I know that this interchange would normally go into perhaps another highway, so it would have like the wider roads for these four to hook into, which would actually probably make it a bit easier. But what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to turn off road guidelines. We're going to do another little marking here. Hopefully, I'm leaving myself enough room. Um, and then we're going to take these roads. And I want these as close as... I'm going to line it up with this sort of grey bit here. And that's going to go up probably further than that. Let's go up to there. And that one's going to go up to there. Yeah. And we're going to just check that that's enough room. I'm going to use the curve tool to get those in. Distance too short. Darn it. And, okay. We'll bring that one back out. See, once I've done this sort of thing a few times... Let's go one back. 
I know what I'm doing but because I'm just so used to using mods. It's, it's, it's Biffa's, uh, you know, complain about not having mods section of our video. Because <laughs> we've got to do that, like, every time, haven't we? And then these two should hook into this like this. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, the pleasure. The pleasure. And then all we've got to do is turn these things the right way round. Um, so which way round are all these things going? I think this one's going up, isn't it? So that's got to go up. Can I just... No, I've got to change that, haven't I? That's got to go up and that's got to go up. Yeah, there we go. And then this has got to go down and that's got to go down. Excellent. The only downside is I think that is going to want to turn around to go up there rather than go straight on, which unfortunately that is sort of vanilla game mechanics. I'm just wondering whether there's anything I could do to fix that. Not off the top of my head at the moment but anyway let's get the top section done over here okay so this road here is gonna curve around to here so they're basically gonna come off curve around and come back down again so let's just see what we can do here um i want that to go out 10 up there and then basically i want to sort of pick a spot along here and we're going to have a circle coming round. so i mean if i came out uh like that like that oh that is going to be huge isn't it that is not going to work and like that because would that go underneath no because we've got a pillar in the way actually it looks like this one's going to work i've got 800 out on each and that's brought me right along here i should do a test actually just to see whoops too low if that would go under there actually it's not low enough because this all needs to be a bit lower doesn't it well that's okay we can do that so let's get this one here out to the right length there you go that doesn't look too shabby does it and then we've got this one that comes in over here we can now change that to actually i'm not going to change that yet because i want this one to go around the outside as well so let's get that one lined up and if we put our road guidelines on we should be okay so let's see what we can do and I've got to go down in height. Mustn't forget about that. So we'll go down one. Then down another one. Has it actually gone down one? Yes, it has. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I think that's okay. Because this one is going to come over in this direction and connect over here. So actually, we might find that this one just needs to go a little bit further back. So we'll disconnect that one from there. I'd like it to come in over here somewhere. So we sort of go like that and then bring that up round here. Is that nice and slopey? Yeah, that's okay, isn't it? Excellent. And then we can just delete this bit here. Uh, we can upgrade all of these, I believe. And it's not going to let us upgrade because of that road underneath. Oh, man. Okay, we might just need to draw in a couple of these. We'll see how it goes. Oh, no. Can't upgrade that road because it's too close. And I've accidentally upgraded it to go the other way. So it would let me upgrade it to go the wrong way. But now it won't let me upgrade it to go back again. Am I going to regret this immensely if I delete that and try and draw it back in again? No, but I can draw it in. Okay, whatever you say. Now I can't draw underneath. Because I've got that pillar there. So I'm hoping... If I just remove those, we can get that road back in again. Let's just pop that under there. Well, that's weird. Before it went under there, no problem at all. Oh, actually, okay, we've done it. Yeah, we're going to go under there like that. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And then let's just connect this up at this end. To be honest, that would probably be okay. So if we go up there like that. So that one comes up and goes around, joins there. Uh, that one goes out. I think that is all okay. I'm just wondering whether a bigger runoff here would be better. I think it would. It looks a bit odd, doesn't it? So let me just fix that. There we go. I think 
that's the roads all going in the right direction. Yep, yeah, all the lanes are going in the right direction, depending on which way you want to go and come from. Excellent. And then we're going to do a bit of lane mathematics. Now, you've got two choices. And I've got to be careful here because these roads are very close together. So if I accidentally upgrade something I shouldn't, we're not going to be able to change it back. But you could use a two lane highway here which would make this road that shows us going straight on and right as just a right and then these two would line up with the two straight on but what i'm going to do is use the four lane highway um and upgrade this one beforehand which i can't do darn it because the roads are too close together oh pants um i bet i could do it over here because there's more of a gap i don't really want to redraw all of this because it means they start getting too close together here which means i have to spread it out and redraw all of that if I just changed it to two lanes instead, could I do that all the way along? Yes, because they're thinner. Okay, in this case, I'm going to do that then. So we'll downgrade these to two lane instead. There we go. I can show you what I mean. So that will go one lane off and two lanes on. I can show you what I mean here as well. Let's put that back to what it was and make this... Oh, that's uh, two lanes. There we go. That's three lanes. Too many lanes that was before. So you can see here, look, it makes that one off and these three go straight on. But yeah, we're stuck with what we've got. That's the downside of having a map that was built with mods that I'm using without mods. But that works perfectly fine. I am really pleased with that. The only downside is this here makes that go around. I'm just wondering if, it's there, if there is some way of fixing that. And I don't think there is. No. So we're, I think we're going to have to just go with it. So there we go. That is a fantastic interchange. I'm really pleased with that. Let's just check that there's no weird junction-y things going on. So we've got no traffic lights, no stop signs, nothing like that. No. Excellent. So now that can come into there. So we can add something in here. What shall we do? Well, I think the first thing I would like to do is work on this little one here that comes through to the other side. Um, this is very, very small. Um, and this needs to be upgraded as well if it's going to have roads coming through there, I think. I'm not sure whether I can just upgrade this uh, without causing any problems. Let's just take a look at this one here. Uh, no, I'd have to completely redraw it. Maybe let's leave it how it is for now. Uh, what I am perhaps going to change is this coming out of here. Um, I'm going to make that a two-lane road with trees. Might as well. Yeah, we can have that coming straight out. And where does that connect to? So almost not quite there. Oh, if only I could turn off bending. That would just be fantastic. Can I do this instead? No. No, that's going to put in an awkward little twist. Okay, that's fine. Well, what we'll do then is we'll bring that as close as we can. And then I'm going to do this. And I want that to be straight, if at all possible. Let me turn off all of the... Oh, man, that's just so annoying. I tell you what, wonder if I could do it this way. If I add in... So where do I want that to go? I want that to be... So if I add in the road there that I want it to join to and then do that, there we go. Look, we get a better connection coming through there, which is good. I think that was one of these roads, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. So that then gives us this secondary sort of road coming up here. And I'm just wondering where this is going to end up if we brought that straight up. Yeah, so that would sort of end up this way. So let's get this if we go there and there. Mm, there's just so many junctions getting close to each other. But I think we might just need to go with the flow. Again, it's not going to let me put it where I want. So let me pause. There we go. Excellent. Let's just make sure that is the correct piece of road. Very good. I was just about to do, let's put dedicated turning lanes on here. No, we can't. No, we can't. Vanilla biffer, vanilla. So let's put that there, which is fine. Um, yeah, we'll leave that one, and then all I will do is turn off... Okay, let's close those and do that again. Uh, we'll turn off that and put a stop sign there, which I think will be fine. And then down here, I mean, I am thinking whether these are going to get... I don't really want these upgraded, actually. I want that as like a little short cut through. It's this one here. I am thinking about coming off of there. And if we did that at a similar angle... 
that is almost yeah if we did that at a similar angle coming straight out of there that could actually look quite good so i could get that to go straight down there and it's not straight at all okay let's change that yes yeah, so we're probably going to have the same issue which is fair enough because we've, we you know we haven't planned to have all these sort of funky uh, if I put this one on, we haven't planned to have all these sort of funky connections. Whoops, wrong button. Let's do that again. Like that. So I don't mind a bit of a bend in the end like that. Keep that straight. So this becomes the main through way to over here. And I know what's going to end up here because, I tell you, this is going to be like this coming out this way. I'm not quite sure where that's going to end up. I don't think that's going to end up over that side. Or it could even, look, connect up with this somehow so if i take that off and come out of there it's never gonna let me is it so that's fine yeah it, this roundabout is gonna change most definitely so we'll, we'll bring it out let's turn off the road guidelines we're gonna bring it out to there and then i'm gonna upgrade it to this yeah suddenly this roundabout has become the central point for some very big roads so then down here what i'd like is a connection that lines up with these There we go, like that. So that becomes a larger through road. So now, yeah, we are going to have to change this one. And unfortunately, I don't think that... Oh, it's almost straight through to there, isn't it? But not quite. But yeah, we're going to have to change that one. So I'll bring that one... Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do this. So we'll delete this. That's going to come straight across to here and then would that go oh look at that that does go straight across there fantastic and then we'll bring this one into there and we'll bring it straight out there and i'm just going to connect like that for now so then what sort of size i don't want it to be as big as that one um let's get our two-way road so i'm thinking even this sort of size if it went up to here would be big enough yeah so let's see what that is Yeah, so that's 300. So that means we'd need to go out 300 that way. That means this is going to go uh, 250, 300 that way. We've got 300 that way. And yeah, I knew that was going to jump. That's why I was going so slow. <laughs> 300 that way. That is actually ending up being the same size as the other one. Let's do it 200 instead. There we go. I think that'll do for now. We're going to give these asymmetrical rows coming into the roundabout the same for that one there. And I think that should be okay. These might end up getting changed into three lane roads. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, slightly smaller than that one. And this bit in here, I was thinking about having this as a roundabout as well. But you know what? I think we're just going to leave it as it is. Uh, again, I'm going to put asymmetrical roads on each end because there's lots of different directions to go just to help with that. And I'm also going to just check the junctions. This may end up being... Actually, that's a traffic light. So no, this one isn't. So they're going to have stop signs. That is going to stay as a traffic light. And this may get upgraded as a bigger junction with some slip lanes and things like that. Yeah, might come back to that a bit later. So let me get a zone drawn in here. I thought so far I've been doing really well with the shapes of my zones. We need a new uh, district up there. But yeah, not looking too shabby, even if I have to say so myself. Let's just concentrate on these two here. I think each of these will have its own district. Right, so now we have Evergreen Park and Crest Heights. And I'm just looking at the... The type of buildings that we've got over here so we've sort of gone up from a very low density residential through the middle here and then we've lifted it up to more the high density stuff but i'm pretty sure we had on here yeah high rise ban yeah and this one as well in borky park so i'm wondering whether we could take this to be a high rise section uh, let's concentrate on evergreen park first of all and i really want to try and 
get this to be filled out as much as possible. So let's see what we can do here. I am wondering whether as well, see if we did that and then sort of went through the middle. Actually, where would halfway be? Hang on, let's get... So that would be that normal size. And then that would be the next one. Yes, we have a bit of space to play with in the middle to get some paths through. So if we took it up... Instead of that, we go up another one and across. And then that would be there. So that's got a space. Okay. That's Let's go up two instead. And then I think... Oh, that's not in the middle, is it? So that's going to be 900. That's going to be 1050. Yeah, there we go. So if we go up three, we'll get that extra height. Then that's 975, and we've got a bit of space in the middle then to play with. So, yeah, I'm liking that. So, let's do that. And then I'm wondering whether to do the same going this way, or just to put them... Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to leave a space for one path through the middle here, and that's the zone shape that we're going to go for. So, let me just get this filled in. And we're going to have a lot of connections along here. So I'm going to do the outside one and the inside one. And leave these two spare. And over here, I'm just wondering whether we'll go to the end but not connect. There's plenty of other road connections we can get to. Just thinking what to do here. I could bring that one up to there and connect it like this. If it's going to let me know. Let's try again. Yeah, so it's done that thing again where I want a node over here. So I'm just going to make myself a node like that. So then we'll curve that one in. Then we'll delete that. Then we'll fill in the zone in again. And again, that's a bit close to this one. In fact, this one here. Because we need that one. I'm wondering whether this one could go. Yeah, do you know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to take that one out. And we're just going to get that one as close to the road as possible. Let's turn off that and that. And we can get right up close to there. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, that'll do to be going along with. And now to keep in with our theme that we've got for our trams, I'm thinking that we're just going to upgrade uh, these roads down here that have got the trams on and just keep those going around the outside. Um, even all the way through here. I think trams are going to become the biggest thing in our city for transportation. Um, so what are we going to have here? We're going to have this one here as well, through the middle. So that's going to connect up to there. So then what do we do here? Do we bring that one through here and up to here? Like this? I mean, we could we could try it. We could see what happens, whether it causes any issues, which is about to because... Oh, no, there we go. We've got space. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So we might just need, I bet, just to look at these. Yeah, we don't want that. Um, we want to stop there, and we'll leave that one going. So the trams do have to wait, but there's enough space in the middle there. Because if we needed to, we could go round the outside. But I think we're just going to run it through the middle for now, and then just hope that that is okay. We'll do the same on that one. Do, 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 do. There we go. Excellent. So that now gives access to trams everywhere. This is getting to be a, a busier and busier junction. And then we're not going to have trams going up there. No, that's okay. Right, so let's look at our services. Oh, I'm thinking as well, uh, before we do that, uh, parks, land value, mm, this one here. So where's that? We've got this park, parks, plazas, park areas. Yeah, I'm thinking of just making this little section here. And I mark it out now so I don't forget. A little park area. Nothing too big. But just to give us a little something there. And then we do need to just check our health care and death care and everything in our city anyway. So they're all covered. Health is getting a bit low over here. So let's just pop in a small clinic. 
Yeah, if we do it there, that's going to cover all of this. Uh, death care is okay everywhere. Oh, we've got over here as well. Of course, I forgot about that. That was the whole point of doing this. So that seems as if it's covered. But as we know, we need, mo we need more, don't we? So I'm going to put that off the side road, say, there. After I've had a quick sip of tea. Ah, lovely. There we go. So it's off the main drag, but it's quite close. Uh, death care, I'm going to add one of these right next to it. There we go. Death care, okay. Everywhere else? Yep, everybody else is fine. Child care, so that is this one. That's the nearest, and that does cover this area. So I'm going to leave the child care. And then elder care, let's click on there. We've got one here, and that also covers this area. So that was good thinking ahead, Biffa, when we did this before. Uh, fire safety is looking drastic up in this spot up here. So I'm going to maybe take that one and add that onto there. And then I want another one over here. That one's going to go there, and that's going to give coverage a bit down here as well once we get there. Uh, so that'll be fine. Police coverage is okay. Okay, we've got one here. I might just add another one down here. Again, just off the main road. No, I don't want that cottage you want. I want that one. There we go. Excellent. And then, of course, schools. So, elementary school coverage is fine. Plenty of spaces. High school, plenty of spaces. University, not enough spaces. Uh, we'll do something about that at some point. Public library, one. <laughs> so, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with a public library down here. I'm going to try and overlap it a bit so it covers this area and the one next to it. That would be perfect. That would be even perfecter. Mm. Yeah, that covers this and sort of a little bit over there. But then I'm also going to give these another high school and elementary. And I'm putting them near the main road because, you know, our trams are going to go around there. So that'll be fine. Trams will come back too. Right, water. Let us get their lovely heating pipes in for these lovely people. There we go. Plenty of heating availability. What's our electricity like? That might need to be beefed up and water and sewage. So what I'm just going to do for now is I'm just going to add like an, an extra 10% onto those. So that takes it up to 110. And we'll do the same on here as well. Do, 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 do. Excellent. And then for zoning, now we do have need for some industry. And again, I'm going to put offices. And they're going to be all along the main drag. All along here. We're going to take that one and that one. That one. That little bit of space there. I think that'll be fine. And then shopping, we are going to go down the outside. Not that far. We're going to come down to there. And we're going to do half of that, half of that. And I'm wondering whether down here as well. Yeah, let's take that one, that one, that one. All these odd, all these odd sized ones. And we're going to do the same here. We'll just take that section there. I worry about this side another time. I think that should be okay. And then the rest is all going to be high density. And I'm just wondering whether before this starts building up, because we want to try and get our land value as high as possible. Is this going to be enough people to get us up to the next target as well? And I'm just wondering for evergreen parks. Have a quick look at some policies. So uh, high-tech housing, smart homes, raises the land value, slightly increased land value, upkeep. So it's got an upkeep attached to it. We're making so much money. So I'm going to do that one. High-rise ban, no. Heavy traffic ban, no. Encourage biking, yes. We're going to try that one. Um, old Town, not... Old Town, yeah. I was going to say not fussed about those, but only residents and businesses can use the air for motor vehicles. Ban other motor traffic, yes. So we don't get people cutting through this road here to the highway that's actually going to bring them down there i'm going to check actually don't i'm going to leave it like it is all oh, studded tires if there's some snow on the roads increase road maintenance cost by 25 percent oh do you know what that might be a good one for the entire city uh, let's go for the entire city policies we're going to do that anti-slip studs increases the health of elderly citizens upkeep 0.32 cents per citizen i'm gonna put that on as well and we'll see how that goes let's go back to evergreen yeah i think 
that would be okay for now. But it was this high-tech housing one to increase the land value is the one I was looking at. So what have we got? Have we got that all filled in? I think. Is there any more space around there? Yeah, let's just get some small shops around there. Yeah, I think this is going to be okay. Let us see what we get. Just quickly adding some walking paths in across and up and down. Completely forgot about those. So any little rows that almost get to the end but don't quite make it. Uh, we're just going to add these in like that just to help people get around. So that should be one through there. That should be one through there. And then this can be one up here. It means a couple of buildings going to have to build in again. That's okay. And then, I mean, this on the end here just seems like the perfect place to also have a walking path to encourage walking. And I'm sorry that you've just built your shop there, but we'll have to redo that. Yep, that's good. Right, let's continue. Okay, so we're getting some growth, which is good. What I would actually like to do is uh, get our mass transit around here, because that's going to really help people as well. So we've got this blue one that goes up and down this main route here. I'm going to move that stop um, over here. Oh, man, that is going to go a bit weird. I'll tell you why, because we've got these ones here. So let's remove that one, that one, and that one. There we go. So that's now going to come around the outside. So we can add a stop sort of along at these points. Every other block. One more down here. Like that. So it now goes up one side and down the other. And it goes around there as well, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I think that should be okay. Because those have an area of effect, as we know. So that's going to help. Is that all the stops? Yeah. And then... I wonder whether a bus route through the middle. Is that going to be too much? I mean, they will walk quite a few blocks to get to a stop and we've got a lot of stops along here um i would even maybe add that one there take that one away and put that over here yeah that'll be good excellent okay so how's it going um more need for offices and commercial so let's just see if we can help this along a bit so maybe we can just change out a couple of these for some offices in the middle here and then it is just going to be a bit of a waiting game for our needs to balance out and for this to fill in. I mean, it's looking good so far. People are upgrading. What are we up to? 32,000, which is good. People are enjoying the football matches. How's that been going? We keep losing. Okay, I'm going to put the ticket prices up. And we're just going to see what happens. And I think that will just attract more people because that's how the game works. There we go. Look, as soon as we start filling some of the needs... Then some of the other needs kick in as well. Have we already filled up all of our commercial we have? Okay, let me do the same over here then. And while we're doing that, I completely forgot and we've zoned inside our little park that we've got here. So let's get rid of those buildings. There we go. And let's actually pop in um, a little park. So it's just going to be a little tiny city park. Oh, well, by the way, I put some other parks in here as well. We've got a little snowman park up there. And one down here as well. Completely forgot about those. So let us put in small park main gate. I want one over here. Right, let's go there. And then a side gate. Yeah, we're going to take out these paths. A side gate down there. Yeah, there we go. This is filling in nicely. I've just dotted a couple of offices around in between the other buildings as well. Let's just take a look at how things are going. So, what is... So, 69 average land value, which is pretty good. Um, our overall city land value is 51. So, that is, you know, I think that's the high... Whoa, what have we got now? Level 5, silver needle timber. Excellent. So, pulp mill, modular house factory. Okay, well, keep those in mind. So that is not too shabby at all. Um, what is the traffic like in this new... So still 90%. 
A uh, little bit of traffic now down here because of our trams. That was what I was worried about. Hmm. Can I adjust something with stop signs here or anything like that? Oh, that doesn't need to be that, that's for sure. If I do a stop sign there and try and keep these guys going, I mean, they're still stopping every time they come out because of the crossing. So I'm wondering whether to actually make that a traffic light. So then when these guys up here get a chance to go, they can go and get the traffic out a lot more. Hmm. I'm going to leave a traffic light on and regret it instantly. <laughs> yeah, this is not enough lanes coming up here, is it? For all of this extra traffic we've given it. Do you know what? I think I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a traffic fix another time. I think for today... I'm just going to leave it because we're just going to concentrate on this area. But the other junctions we've created, look, this one's okay. Yeah, not too bad at all. All along this main road, I know there's going to be a load of stop signs. Uh, if we go into here... Oh, no, stop signs is fine. No traffic lights. Yeah, don't want traffic lights. So we'll do... Actually, we're going to set this as... A main road through there. Oh, it already is a main road through there. Okay, so if I just turn off the traffic lights then... It should put the stop signs in. And it doesn't. Excellent. Thank you, game. Uh, this one down here, the same. So that's okay. I'm going to leave those traffic lights there. And remove all of those. Yeah, so the rest of this is actually going really well. And the bit in the center will never be a problem. Oh, man, it's like 87% now. <laughs> I don't, I'm going to come back to that. If you got any ideas of where I should run the tram instead, I might bring it round this other road here but that is getting super busy and this one here yeah i think i'm going to take another look at that but i think this over here is going okay these are saying not enough educated people i would imagine yeah well that's just going to take time isn't it we've got enough education in the area but i think that is looking all right as an extra addition to our city plus with all the extra changes we've made with the trams and all that sort of stuff Things are going nicely. So for this episode, that'll be it. Subscribe before you go. Be back tomorrow for New Zealand, which is my fully modded series. Thank you for your continued support as well. It uh, is really is appreciated. Have a fantastic day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.